What's up y'all, this is Michael K. Malloy with SharePoint in 60 seconds and today I'd like to take us for a spin around the new look and feel of the SharePoint online document libraries. So first thing I noticed is that it looks eerily similar to the OneDrive and OneDrive for Business interface. So um, let's take a peek. I'd like to just walk through a couple of things that I would normally do from the uh, default screen when you hit when you click on a document library um, first thing I'd like to do is, is be able to add some metadata so when I add some columns at first I couldn't really figure out what was going on but I did find this handy dandy plus button which is pretty cool um, so you can instantly pick one of these but if you want something like a choice then you've got to click on more and you can also show and hide columns within this view which I haven't played with but let's just see what it does show hide columns edit view oh so basically you can edit the view like right here that is super freaking awesome to not to have to like typically to do this thing right here and actually have it stick to the view like let's say I didn't want modified the time it was modified where's oh apply huh there we go oh snap that is that is the bomb if that sticks so let's see I can't see any reason why it shouldn't stick so now typically you have to go to uh, the library settings and or click the little drop down so that you can modify the view but being able to modify the view on the fly as far as which columns show and which ones don't show is pretty slick alright so one thing I also discovered is that it's a lot easier to move these columns around and change the order we can just click the drop down and go to column settings and then we can move it to the left or to the right I'm gonna move it to the left and I'm going to take this one and move it to the left. And there we go. Now, getting back to the views, we have our view here, shows the current view. And I imagine the asterisk stands for the default. We'll find out when we create another one. So under here we can change anything about that particular view. So we can keep it in a list format, which is what most of us are used to in the classic. Or we can change to the tiles, the grids. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so there you go. You got tiles, and I'm sure there's some super cool functionality. Well, you can actually see a preview of what is in there, um, although it's microscopic. But it definitely lets you know you can see page breaks and paragraph breaks in there I only put just a few words this one's empty so that makes sense uh, we can select them and do super cool things with them so notice when I selected two a lot of the options went away if I go back and just click one we get a whole bunch more options so if there's anything you're looking for that you're trying to do that you're like well what happened to all the stuff from the ribbon well, most likely it's been just reworked and repositioned. So um, a lot of the things I was seeing, people were complaining about not having a ribbon. And to me, at first blush, it seems, excuse me, at first blush, it seems that people are way more too concerned or way too concerned about the ribbon disappearing and not paying enough attention to actually finding out how to do those things. Um, but I could be wrong um, so I'll have to go back and take a look at what some of the people are saying if you've got any particular thoughts or ideas things you like or don't like I encourage you to make some comments uh, share this video create some buzz out there because this is a pretty big change coming and uh, for all you site owners or site admins fellow architects you're probably going to want to get ahead of this because your people are going to freak out when this thing goes live. 
All right, y'all, this has been Michael K. Malloy with SharePoint in 60 Seconds saying thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, give us some feedback, and let us know what you think about this new look and feel in the comments section. All right, y'all, have a great day, happy SharePointing, and don't forget to make somebody smile.